Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about how to troubleshoot and review workflow schedule and run results. First, let's open a workflow from the gallery and put a problem on it on purpose. So let's click on File, Open Workflow, let's select our gallery, and then Workflows, and this one here. we try to run this workflow we can see that is running and working perfectly and now let's delete an input tool and then let's save it with another name in the gallery let's click on file save as private gallery and select our gallery Let's name that test with error. Let's click on save and we will save on the gallery. We can already see that the validation process has identified an error, but that doesn't prevent the workflow from being published in gallery. So let's see that the browser. In our private studio, we can see the workflows page that was showed before. And now, let's run the workflow using the gallery by clicking right here on the run button. There are no questions to display and let's click on run again. And now we can see the results. As we expected, the error caused the workflow to not run successfully. To see the results of workflows that were run from the gallery, we can access the workflow results menu right here. In this page, we can see informations like workflow names, priority, completion time, run length, run type, among other things. If the V icon is showed, that means that workflow has been executed well, just like that. But if a X icon is showed, it means there is something gone wrong. We can see these both icons right here. And as we can see the results of our workflow, here it is the execution log messages, including the error message. Both left and right inputs must have connections. And below, we can see the message of the workflow that is configured and working correctly. To see the run results, we can also go directly to the workflows page through the private studios page by clicking here on private studio and then by clicking in the workflow name
or also through the collections page as well. Let's click on collections menu. Select our collection. And then we can click on schedules tab right here. And after that, in the schedule name. But remember, this is only applicable for workflows that have been scheduled and linked to the collection. In the schedule page, we also can see the results of the execution of this specific schedule containing all log messages, completion time, etc. Note that all users of the collection with the correct permissions will be able to see the results. This is possible because the workflow and the schedule are both linked to the collection. And besides the gallery environment, you can also open and run the workflow from your computer using the Outrix Designer. So let's just run it from here. And we can see the same log messages. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.